Hey guys, it's Han, and today I have another unboxing video for you guys. Um, this, as you can see, is from FMS, which is a brand I haven't heard of that much of until recently. Um, until this particular model came out and it really caught my eye and I started seeing FMS around everywhere. They have like the 16th scale Jimny, they have like the Land Cruiser 118th scale. A lot of 118th scale crawlers and it seems like they're doing a lot of work in the 118th scale trail truck market um they also have that i think it's 110 scale scale or 112 scale like ultra scale looking uh new jimny that they have um but yeah a lot of different things but this particular one really caught my eye and once i open it up I and mean, you can see i kind of got excited and opened it already and uh but yeah, once you see it, you'll kind of understand. Um, so it's kind of standard box, and you can kind of see a spoiler of what it is. 118th scale FJ Cruiser RTR. Um, I originally just kind of wrote FMS off as kind of like a Banggood special, like kind of cheap, crappy RC car that you can get on like Amazon or like Banggood or something like that, Alibaba or stuff like that. But it does seem like they're making pretty quality stuff. So you can see here, this is the FMS FJ Cruiser. Um, you can also get like a non-branded version of this from Easy RC, which I, which I think is basically from the same factory, um, just minus some features like the interior and all that. But you can see this is a fully licensed, um, a fully licensed uh, model, and. Uh, as you can kind of see here, licensee Guangdong Huiquan Toys Industry Co. Limited. Uh, so I'm assuming they're from either China or Hong Kong by how the name sounds. Um, which there's a lot of really cool stuff coming out of there recently. So that's not really a, a knock against them. As long as the model works well, has good part support, and it's good quality, I don't really care what country it comes from. Um, so around the box, this is just a sleeve around here, but uh, it's a little description here. You can pause and read that if you would like. Nice little photo of that. On this side, there's another photo of that. Over here, more details. Again, you can pause and read that if you would like. But, yep. Taking it out of the sleeve, it does come in this really nice like storage case. You can see it's like a foam storage case has uh, FMS like stamped on the top here um, and it's actually it's not like the crappy styrofoam where it like, falls apart this is like really nice um, I'm usually not a big fan of styrofoam packaging but this is something that looks reusable so I'll let it slide while I struggle to open this oh there we go so pretty tight and well packed in there Owner's manual, um, read through that if you would like. Um, oops, I guess I'll just throw it. Some of the boring stuff out of the way. It comes with a USB charger and a wheel tool. Um, and from the plug, it looks like it includes a uh, LiPo battery. So I'm assuming this is a LiPo charger. Yeah, it doesn't say, it just says charger on here, but that's the uh, output and input of that. So. 1000 milliamps, decent, that's pretty decent for a USB charger, I think. Um, take the truck out, put it set aside right here for a second. Um, just a little foam spacer, the radio, and that's all that's in this case. Um, let's look at the radio real quick. Pretty small radio, uh, but it's a pretty small truck. And nice compact, pretty light. The controller itself, the plastic, um, it feels kind of cheap, uh, controller wise. It has a nice, like, carbon fiber texturing to it, but it's very clearly plastic, not actual carbon fiber, which I didn't expect it to be, but you know, uh, it, it doesn't look bad. Uh, the overall design of the controller doesn't look bad. Um, it does just feel a little bit cheap. I like the little foam wheel on here. I personally prefer no foam on the wheel or rubber because foam tends to get really gross really fast, especially with our off-road RC where you're touching dirt and grime all the time. 
But seems like it has a button here for something. I'm not sure. We'll find out. There's no batteries included for the transmitter, but it does seem like there is a little flap here and then another door here. And it looks like AA batteries go in there. Um, I'm assuming four, but we will find that out again soon. There's a little door up here. Up here. There we go. And that's where all your other controls are. Um, on and off. Some other controls on here. I'll have to read the manual to see what all that does. But this is just kind of like a first impressions kind of thing. And then finally, here we have the truck itself. Um, I know I'm, I'm <laughs> I know you can see all the boxes behind here. Uh, I have finally moved into my new apartment. This is the first time I've I've officially moved out. I'm like I, and I moved out closer to work. So I have my own place. I have my own little work like studio here now. Um, for RC and like all my hobby stuff. So hopefully I'll have a, a lot more videos coming out uh, soon and um, Hopefully also the quality of the videos will be a little bit better as well since I have, I'll have a designated area to shoot videos and um, All that and not not have to worry about distractions or anything like that. But anyway back to the truck um, You can you saw kind of uh, when I was messing with it here the hood opens up um, and also notice that there's no body pins on this. So that looks very scale and looks very, very nice. Um, and I'm not sure how you take the body off, but what's nice about this is that it's a hard body. And underneath here, you see the chassis rail here, which feels metal. Or maybe it's a very thick plastic. I'm not quite sure yet, but it feels metal. Um, it has full wheel wells. So no mud or dirt trying to really get into the nice little interior there they have in here but overall it's a very nice looking FJ cruiser model um, kind of like an off-road modified one like lightly modified with the snorkel up here the fender flares um, the larger tires and stuff and the bumper of course but anyway the battery and stuff goes in here you can see the electronics in there um, it doesn't look like a standard ESC it looks like it's like a PCB board that's just stuck in there um, a PCB that's stuck in there. You can see the tiny little servo right there. So we'll we'll see how how that how that goes. So it is a uh, chassis mounted servo setup, but for a chassis mounted servo setup, there's not a lot of bump steer, which is pretty impressive. Um, from the plug here, it looks like the battery just like gets shoved in the firewall there, and it's a little tiny, three hundred eighty milliamp hour. Uh, Nickel metal high and then a lithium polymer battery with a pretty familiar plug. I think the old ECX vehicles, like ECX Barrage 24th scale, use this kind of plug. Um, I will probably change mine into a uh, JST, like red JST style connector, just because that's what all, all of my other uh, mini crawlers use. Um, and this is a smaller battery than the other 18th scale trucks that I have, but. Uh, I guess it's understandable because it has to fit it under the hood here. And it seems like that's all that would fit. But it seems like the battery fits in there nicely. Um, I'm going to plug this in. And you can kind of see the lights flashing there. Shove the battery back in here. You can see the on off switch is also right here in a very, very convenient position. So it doesn't give you guys epilepsy or anything. Um, trigger epilepsy. It's a little sticker here that I think I have to remove. Yeah, a lot of little thin wires in here. So you might want to be careful with that. That's, I'm assuming, for the, the lights. Um, but yeah, very high quality looking model. The body feels nice. It's not painted, it doesn't look like it. I think it's literally molded yellow. And then the white up here is not, not paint. It's a molded plastic white piece that's like glued on or screwed on here. So it's like a cap. Um, but it does give you that look of a yellow and white painted FJ Cruiser. And for the price of this thing, which 
I paid $170 for this thing. Um, that's pretty good. <clears throat> that's pretty good considering it's an 18 scale model with a full interior, full hard body with full function lights um, and full proportional, all that. It, I think that's an excellent deal. The door handles are separate pieces. The mirrors are separate pieces. Um, it's a little ladder accessory back here. Full, like, I, I'm pretty sure this is an actual spare tire. Yep, it's an actual spare tire back here. Um, this this is a plastic separate piece that's in here. Even has the three windshield wipers up there. Very, very cool. Has the uh, actual accurate dash on here as well with all the gauges on the dash. Um, steering wheel, seats, everything. Um, even looks like you got pretty decent luggage room back there. So that's pretty cool. The windows are clear, but the interior is so dark and black. Um, it does look slightly tinted, but it's a very nice little look. Um, yeah, so overall the truck looks very, very good. Um, of course, the only thing that's not accurate about it is it is a solid front axle, but you could argue that it's modified to be a front solid axle because I have seen real life FJ cruisers modified to have solid axles in the front. So um, roof uh, rock rail step thing over here it also looks very, very nice. So I am very impressed with this and I am very, very happy with this. Even if it drives like absolute junk, it it's still a very cool like static model to have, um, especially with with the lights. So even for that, I think it's a pretty cool model. And at this point, if it performs well, that's if it, if it drives, that's just a extra little little cherry on top. Um, but speaking of driving, let's uh, plug the battery in. I mean, and throw some batteries in the transmitter and test this thing out a little bit. So I want to note that the controller takes four triple A batteries, not double A batteries. So that's something to keep in mind. I had to steal some batteries out of my uh, mini Z, uh, but you see, turn it on. There's no lights or anything like that. It'll, you'll know it's, oh, there is a light. I'm a liar. So weird. That's very weird light. That looks like a flashlight or something. Um, almost looks like the front of a car. Maybe that's what they were going for, but yeah, um, little headlights on the on the transmitter. Um, I'm assuming it's blinking because it's waiting to be paired to the truck. And if you turn the truck on, solid lights up here, and the lights stop flashing on the truck. It's got blinkers, and they're very bright blinkers at that as well. Front brake blinkers, uh, no rear blinkers, but definitely front blinkers, which is still pretty cool. That motor sounds kind of weird, but... Yeah, so it is digitally proportional, but the resolution is pretty low. You can clearly feel and, and hear the uh, steps. And it, that ESC sounds very strange. Um, but I, I think this does have some other uh, function like light functions. Oh, so when you reverse the taillights turn on but ironically <laughs> it doesn't turn on when you brake and it doesn't seem like it's an immediate forward reverse there is a brake 
Um, let me see about these lights. So I have managed to figure out how to turn the headlights on, but I can't seem to figure out how to do the tail lights for some reason. They are supposed to turn on and off, but anyway, the, the headlights, there's this LED plus button. If you press that, depending on how many times you press that, I'll have different functions, but for some reason, I'm not sure what setting I have wrong, but the tail lights only turn on when I'm reversing. So that's interesting. But still, that looks pretty cool. The uh, servo in there. It's a little weak. You can see it doesn't turn very far. Even if I lift it up, it doesn't seem to turn very far. So I don't know if it needs to be set some more or what, but yeah. Not super impressed with the uh, steering on this thing. Maybe the battery has to be charged or something. I'll mess around with it a little bit more, uh, but it's still a pretty cool little truck. Uh, like I mentioned, even if it was just a static model, I'd be happy with it. The fact that it has even this much functionality is pretty cool. I've always wanted a little FJ Cruiser um, RC. Uh, I had the Tamiya CC01, which I absolutely loved. And to this day, I think that's the most scale looking 10 scale or 12 scale FJ Cruiser body uh, available. There, I did have the HPI Venture for a while, but that body is a little bit weird proportions wise. It was a little long. so. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of that body. Uh, and I had a Nico like FJ Cruiser like monster truck when I was younger and I saved the body from it. I still have that body. Uh, but that body is a little bit larger than I uh, originally thought to be 18 scale, but it's a little bit larger. Um, if this is supposed to be proper 118 scale, that body is probably around... Uh, one fourteenth scale, one sixteenth scale, something like that. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, a little bit bigger than bigger than this. And I always planned on making like a mini FJ Cruiser hard body crawler with it or trail truck with it. And now that F FMS has this, there's not really that much reason for me to do that anymore. Um, I'll still I'm still gonna try to find a chassis for that thing, but. This is still pretty cool. Um, from initial impressions, it seems like the servo could be improved and I have to figure out what setting I'm doing incorrectly for those tail lights. But yeah, first impressions are overall pretty decent. I've seen a lot of other people have a lot of fun with this, so um, I can't wait to have my own little adventures with this thing. And once I, if I do, and when I do, I will try to get it on video and show you guys. So that's all I have for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, give me a subscription, comment down below what you think about, about this thing, or if I missed any features or anything like that. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.